So perfect numbers. Perfect numbers is is a number which is equal to the sum of its proper divisors, which means all its factors except for itself. So for example, the first perfect number is six because its factors are three, two, one, and six, but you don't include that. Now, six is equal to the sum of three, two, and one, because three plus two plus one equals six. So six is the perfect number. The next perfect number is uh, 28. So 28 is equal to seven plus four plus 14 plus two. So that's uh, 20, 28 is a perfect number too. Now there's there's a really cool theorem called the Euclid Euler theorem because it was conducted by uh, it was it was the because it was developed by both Euclid and Euler because uh, both of them extended it. This states that uh, every even perfect number can be written in the form uh, in this form. 2 to the p minus 1 times 2 to the p minus 1, where p is a prime. Now, well, this, this, this term, 2 to the p minus 1, this is just a special number. It's called a Mersenne prime. Th th this is what uh, th um, th th uh, the form of Mersenne prime is always 2 to the p minus 1. So when p is a prime number. So in fact, th 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 there's a one-to-one -one relationship between uh, p p uh, perfect numbers and, and Mersenne primes. So for Mersenne primes and perfect numbers. So... For example, the first Mersenne prime is 2 squared minus 1, and this value is equal to 3. So in this case, p equals 2. So the perfect number corresponding to the Mersenne prime of 3 is 2 to the 2 minus 1 times the Mersenne prime of 3. So this is just 2 to the first times 3, which is equal to 6. And as you see, this corresponds with the first machine, with the first perfect number that we just found. Now, for example, uh, um, for, for the next perfect, for, for the next machine prime you have, you have 2 cubed minus 1, which is 8 minus 1, which is 7. So the same thing. So p is equal to 3. So you have 2 to the 3 minus 1 times 7, which is just 4 times 7, which is equal to 28. That works too. So in fact, there's one. So this happens for every single Mersenne Mersi number, uh, Mersenne prime. So then uh, your next perfect numbers are you have 496, 8128. And then as you go on and on, then these numbers get much larger and larger. It has been conjectured that, that, that there are an infinite number of perfect numbers. But the thing is, all of them so far are even. So uh, this is an unsolved problem in mathematics. Uh, are there any odd perfect numbers? This is not yet known. Although people have found a, a huge bounds. So people have um, found that if there was an odd perfect number, it would have to be, like, uh, it would have to be super, super big and they're going to use like computers to calculate.